Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP, and uh, today we're bringing you just a fairly short video uh, covering a new little project I'm going to be working on, probably a three-part uh, series uh, ultimately. And basically I'm just going to be uh, kind of refurbishing my Wolf River Coils Silver Bullet 1000 Take It Along Edition. And I've used this, uh, I've had this for a uh, year and a half, not quite two years probably, and I've used it uh, in the field, at parks, uh, here at the house, uh, mounted on a, a bracket uh, just in the yard. But uh, I also had it uh, mounted on my vehicle uh, for several months and took it on several trips uh, for my work uh, where I uh, travel out of state and used it uh, mobile uh, with my vehicle, uh, primarily with 20 and, and 40 meters. And it works well in all of those situations. It, it's a very versatile antenna. Uh, it's, they're good components. It's well made. It's well designed. Uh, but it's, uh, especially with the, uh, the cheap paint job I had put on it just to, uh, to black out the, uh, pretty much the white plastic components when it was on the car, you know, it's just showing that it's, uh, it's been in the field. It's a little bit dirty and, and so forth. And so uh, I want to kind of refurbish it, clean it up, going to change the paint job, going to be going with a red color scheme this time, and uh, upgrading a couple of components as well. Uh, one of the things that Wolf River Coils uh, did was they designed a new set of pickups, and, and we'll see uh, uh, what one of the pickups looks like in a minute. They're inside those those collars that you slide up and down the main coil. Uh, the original uh, stainless steel coil and, and stainless steel uh, folded metal for the pickups that's inside each collar, uh, it works pretty well. It, it's, it's a nice system, but they did figure out after uh, some time, they designed a wider piece of metal and it's curved to better match the curvature of the coils so you should get uh, a better stronger contact which will help keep the SWR down and just help help you keep a clean contact so I, uh, I've got some of those I've got uh, I found a uh, a local parts supplier uh, Granger if you're familiar with Granger and they had a 30 inch threaded aluminum rod that was the 3 8 by 24 threading that the uh, the tripod base for the Wolf River Coils uses. So Wolf River Coils sells the longer legs. Uh, the, the basic Take It Along Edition comes with the uh, 12 inch legs. Uh, they sell 24 inch legs. They call it the Megapod and they have those legs. And you can just buy those longer legs if you want to. Um, but I found a set of, uh, of 30 inch uh, threaded cables, uh, threaded rods. And so I decided to pick those up locally and uh, I'm going to work with those so that I have an option between the shorter legs and the longer legs. Uh, I got the new pickups. I'm going to be uh, cleaning up everything, cleaning up all the contacts, uh, again, redoing the paint job. Going to go with uh, uh, sort of a red color scheme this time. And I've got the dual collar system, which is uh, an upgrade they offer. Uh, the original uh, Wolf River Coils came with a single collar. In fact, I still have the original single collar. Uh, it's uh, it's still in pretty good shape because I didn't use it as much. I upgraded to the dual collar. The dual collar is just kind of nice because you can uh, basically kind of pre-configure two settings. You know, and uh, in the car I was using 20 and, and 40 meters, and so I had each collar pretty well set up on each one of those, and I could just move that jumper wire from one to the other. I would I would pull over to uh, take a quick break or get gas, and I could I could just hop that jumper, and uh, you know, throughout a six or eight hour drive, I could I could play around. Uh, with 20 and 40 meters uh, several times and also hit a park or something uh, once I got to my location and, and in the evenings and do some stuff there. So again, I've got the original collar. Now, uh, the, the thing with this photo uh, is you can see the original pickup, that little bent piece of metal inside the collar there. Uh, it's stainless steel and that's the original pickup style. So the new pickup styles, and, and we'll see these better in the next uh, video when we actually cover doing the upgrades uh, specifically, they're wider and they're curved to, to match the curvature or at least better match the curvature of the coil itself. 
So you should get uh, better contact. Uh, probably help the SWR and just help make sure you get a, a better clean signal. So I'm going to be upgrading the contacts, uh, cleaning everything up, uh, repainting things. I've got the new longer uh, legs I want to I want to work with, uh, but of course I still have the original 12 inch tripod legs as well, so I can I can kind of use either one. I've got a new storage uh, hard hard plastic storage tube. I'm gonna gonna move things into to just make it highly transportable and just ready to go. This is the uh, the tripod base here. Nothing wrong with it. Still in great shape. Um, it doesn't come natively with the right angle adapter. Uh, a lot of people who get this antenna tend to get those right angle adapters for this, and I did as well. Just makes it a little bit nicer and more convenient to, uh, to work with the antenna. Especially with the 12 inch uh, legs, because it really doesn't sit that far off the ground. And if you have your cable coming straight out the bottom there of that, uh, that little tripod base, uh, depending on how thick and heavy duty your, your cable is, you know, that can be a little bit of a, a challenge uh, to work with. Now with the new 30 inch legs, that won't be much of a, of a problem, but uh, it's just kind of nice having that right angle adapter on there. Uh, so there's not much to do there. I'll, I'll double check things, make sure the, uh, the connections are all clean. But uh, again, most of the components are stainless steel or aluminum. So you don't uh, typically get a whole lot of problems with it. I mean, this thing's been out in the rain plenty of times. Uh, up and down the interstates, things like that. It's, it's been in probably three or four different states. Uh, these are the original legs that it came with. Again, I've still got these. I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. There's really nothing wrong with them. Uh, but I'll also be showing and and uh, and using the new 30-inch legs uh, for at least some of the um, the deployments I might want to uh, to work with. Give a broader base. I'm also going to be working up a little bit of a weight system. Uh, it's it's like astronomy uh, for anybody who may may have that uh, hobby as well whatever kind of tripod you use you almost always want to have a weight on there to help dampen vibrations and just keep it more stable and uh, even though this isn't a real big antenna you know if it's windy that day you could uh, potentially get enough wind wind load to, to knock it over and uh, you know the bigger base the 30 inch legs that'll help and i'm going to try to come up with a nice simple little little weight system nothing real heavy but enough right down there towards the bottom just to help help keep that from happening That'll just become part of the system as well. We'll cover that in the next uh, the next uh, video segment. Uh, also worked on some new radials. Now, I bought a new set of the official Wolf River Coils radios, so I have, have a nice new brand new set of those. Sadly, my original set of radials for the, uh, the antenna, the three 33-foot radials, uh, had a tragic accident with a lawnmower. Uh, even though I had them staked in the ground, they apparently had worked their way up a little bit. Uh, so I went ahead and bought another set of, of the official radios, and they're they're nice, nice, decent radios. It, it, they're decent, uh, uh, you know, wire and everything. So I went ahead and bought a set of those from Wolf River Coils, but I've made up a set, and, and I'll go over this in the next video. Uh, another set of radios using some wire I got from uh, Callum McCormick M0 MCX DX Commander over in England. Uh, I've got his antenna. I'm going to be uh, kind of kind of refurbishing that antenna as well. It's been up for a year and a half or more. Uh, but he sells some nice wire. Uh, he calls it DX10, and it just has a good feel in the hand. Doesn't really have any memory to it. It's not stiff wire. Uh, the other uh, ones that I had made, the other radios I had made were were just cheap stiff wire, and they work okay. But uh, as far as getting them out and putting them away and, and everything, having that uh, you know that stiffer memory type wire. Uh, has pros and, and has cons definitely but I, I have this original set just to kind of have it and do a little bit of a comparison with the ones I made with the DX10 now this was the set of radials I had made uh, a while back using some cheap wire uh, three strand wire so three uh, radials for each alligator clip and I used alligator clips a, a, a bigger slightly different design for these new radials but uh, just makes it very quick and easy to be able to attach those to the base and, and take them off again as opposed to having to screw them on and off the, uh, the actual legs with the ring terminals. Uh, these are not 33 feet. I think these were probably 16 feet, somewhere in that range. And there's three per connection. So you get you still get good coverage, you know, for the, uh, you know, for the different bands and everything. Uh, these worked okay. I've used them many times. Uh, they're just a little bit more to deal with as far as getting them uncoiled and, and, and recoiling them up and spreading them out and everything. But they actually worked okay. Uh, but I'm... I'm Kind of excited to use the new ones I've made, which are dual wire, but 33 feet long. 
So I'll have six, you know, 33 foot long uh, radios this time. And Wolf River Coils does recommend more than just the three radios the Santana ships with. You can get it going okay with the three radials. They do recommend uh, probably six or more. Uh, so we'll be kind of comparing and, and working on some of that. And uh, once the refurb is done, and that'll pretty much be what the next video covers, then we'll, uh, of course, get it out in the field and uh, we'll use it a little bit. And uh, whether it ends up being a pod activation or, or just some fun on, on HF. So we're going to kind of wrap this one up. I just wanted to sort of introduce this a short little series uh, working on this, this antenna. You know, if you have an antenna, almost anything, at some point you may need to spend some time with it, you know, show it some love and attention and kind of refurbish things and clean up connections. Uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing with the DX Commander Classic that I have. Uh, you know, again, it's been out in the field running great, still running great, but you know, it's been a year and a half or more. And I'm just going to check it, double check the connections and uh, make sure everything is as tight and, and so forth as it should be. So uh, we'll bring you part two of this one uh, fairly soon uh, and then probably finish up with a part three where we're using the antenna out in the field again as usual. So that'll be it. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73.